This is section 3.4, which is properties of logarithmic functions. We're going to talk about properties of logs, change of base formula, graphs of log with functions with base b, and re-expressing data. Okay, so properties, reviewing properties of logs. So we have our three properties here. Product rule. Oops. So product rule says that if we have two things that are being multiplied, then they expand to addition. Quotient rule says that if we are dividing, then it's going to expand to subtraction. And power rule says if we're raising it to a power, we can put that value out front with multiplication. So those are how we um, expand we can also go the reverse direction and condense logs as well. We'll be practicing both in this lesson today. Okay, so example one is proving the product rule for logarithms. So we're going to prove that log base b of r times s is equal to log base b of r plus log base b of x. So to start out with, I'm going to let x equal log base b of r and y equal log base b of s. So we can rewrite both of these in exponential form. So that would be b to the x power equals r, and b to the y power equals s. So that's just rearranging, switching forms back to exponential. So then we can say that r times s would be equal to b to the x times b to the y. And we know with our properties of exponents that that means that we, oops, our s is equal to b raised to the x plus y. So then we can switch that form and say back to log form. So I can say log base b of our s is equal to x plus y. And then we can finally, we can substitute back in what we let x equal and what we let y equal. So this would be log base b of rs is equal to log base b of r plus log base b of s. So that's the proof. Um, we could also do that for the quotient rule and the power rule as well. Okay, our next example is expanding a log. So it says, assuming x is positive, use properties of logs to write log of 3x to the fifth as a sum of logarithms or multiple logarithms. So this is log of 3x to the fifth. So the first thing I notice is we're multiplying the 3 and the x to the 5th. So multiplying expands to addition. So this would become log of 3 plus log of x to the 5th. And then finally we have an exponent right here that can, so power rule can go out front as multiplication. So this would be log of 3 plus 5 log of x. So that would be our expanded form of that logarithm. Okay, our next example is condensing. So this is going the opposite direction. Um, assuming x is positive, write 3 natural log of x minus natural log of 2 as a single log. Okay, so the first thing that I notice, so it's kind of working backwards from what we did in the expanding problem. The first thing I notice is that I have a 3 out front, which can turn into an exponent. So this would be natural log of x to the third power minus natural log of 2. And then we have a subtraction. This is subtraction, which means it's going to condense into division. So this would be natural log of x to the third divided by 2. And I want you to notice when it says a single logarithm, notice how I only wrote natural log one time. 
If you're condensing into a single logarithm and you're writing log more than one time, you're not doing it correctly. So make sure if you're condensing to a single log, there is only a single log written in your answer. Okay, so the change of base formulas for logarithms. So some of the newer calculators allow you to change the base. You can um, turn it into whatever base you want, but um, other calculators don't. So typically calculators have log base 10 and log base E on them. So if you were trying to evaluate like log base two, it'd be kind of difficult. So we have the change of base formula, which allows us to take any log, any base, and turn it into something that's a little bit more calculator friendly. So for example, if I had log base three of seven, we would turn this into log of seven over log of three, and then we could type it in our calculator and get a value. Or you can use natural log of seven and natural log of three. So you can turn it into whatever base you want as long as you're consistent. So our next example is to evaluate log base 3 of 10. So log base 3 of 10 using change of base would be log of 10 over log of 3, which is approximately equal to 2.096. Now you could also try that out with natural log. So type in natural log of 10 divided by natural log, oops, it's deleting my writing, natural log of three, and you should also get 2.096. Okay? And our last example <coughs> is graphing log functions. So describing how to transform the graph of f of x equals natural log of x into the graph of each function. So just in your mind, so you have a picture, remember natural log looks kind of like that, same as log. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do on A is I'm gonna use that idea of expanding the log and write it as two natural log of x. So then it's a little bit easier to compare to our parent function of natural log of x, and we know that the two out front means it's going to be vertical stretch by a factor of two. Now b is a little bit trickier, so you'll notice it's not even written as a natural log right now, but we know how to turn something from a log base five into natural log using change of base. So I'm going to, oops. In the back button. Okay, so a equals. So this would be if I use change of base, and I'm specifically going to use natural log since that's my parent function. So this would be natural log of x over natural log of 5. Now, if I rewrite that slightly, this would be 1 over natural log of 5 times natural log of x. So you can see this is also going to either be a vertical stretch or shrink. You can evaluate 1 over natural log of 5 in the calculator, and it's about 0.62. So this would be a vertical shrink or compression by about 0.62. You can say approximately. Okay, so that is how you can switch the form so that way you can identify transformations that are occurring. Let me know if you have any questions.